New technology is being rolled out across the country to help stop cash and transit heists. It's been developed by the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the CSIR, uh, following the spate of cash and transit robberies. 180 cash vehicles have been hit this year alone. An all too familiar scene. At least one cash and transit vehicle targeted daily. In just six months, 183 robberies. This one in Boxburg earlier this month left a suspect dead and a taxi passenger injured. The communities are terrorized. The people that we speak to when we do our research from a turn-back crime point of view would indicate that they are now afraid to drive next to, behind or in front of a, a cash-in-transit vehicle. But this vault protection device could be an effective deterrent. The unit fitted inside a CIT vehicle can be triggered within seconds of an attack and releases a protective foam that is also bomb-proof. It dispenses foam, polyurethane foam, into the vehicle vault area and then that foam rises like a cake could rise and it encases all of the cash bags inside the vault making it impossible for the criminals to get their hands on it. The foam hardens and once it's hardened which is after a few minutes then it can absorb a bomb blast as well. An ink stain technology has also been developed for cross pavement attacks like this one. When a criminal runs away with the box, it automatically activates. It's an intelligent device and um, it stains the notes with ink inside. The technology has already been rolled out to several CIT companies countrywide. We are ready and we will make sure that uh, we don't only protect the money that uh, is in, in, in those vents, but you also protect the lives, innocent lives of our people on the ground. Gauteng has been the hardest hit with 71 attacks this year alone. It's a technological innovation that is hoped to be the solution to the scourge. But parallel to this, police are also investigating the kingpins behind the attacks. But experts agree that a multi-pronged approach is required. Mangalam Kunu, SAPC News, Johannesburg.